Ohio Hapborn. Good afternoon. Welcome to our Mindanao dream. We're here at Bali Bali now. And while we're here, Pearl and I have decided to do a little reminiscing, I guess you could say, or a little self reflect. Yeah, self reflect on. 15 years of marriage. Well, there's only two things of questions that I think should, uh, I think it's relevant. To, uh, one first question is uh, things you learn in 15 years of marriage. This is the reason why I asked this question because our our situation or our marriage is not just the regular like filipino both filipino couple it's it's between american and filipino right. uh got together so that's why uh it's for me it's relevant for to ask this for people some people for some people want to know mm -hmm. So well, anyway, um, like say Filipinos or Filipinas uh, say it's just a number. We're talking about age, as the of the age difference between Pearl and I. And uh, in the in the states, you don't see that so much. Um, very rarely. Uh, so I had a little bit of hesitation going into into that but um, it actually has been really well uh, with our two cultures have mixed or mingled well together uh, there's a lot of things that I like about the culture here that uh, Pearl has instilled into her life and Pearl has also learned to adapt, I guess you could say, to some of the American cultures. So it's really helped our marriage, uh, I think, uh, to go forward, to become stronger. The fact that Pearl and I share the same faith, uh, religion, that it's helped us to uh, grow together. Another thing that uh, Pearl and I have had to develop within our relationship is patience and long suffering. I wake up every morning uh, happy. I wake up in the morning knowing that I'm laying next to and cuddling the woman that I want to spend the rest of my life with and spend it uh, all eternity with. Um, we have our differences. We do argue. We get, have fights. I get mad. She gets madder. But at the end of the day, uh, one thing Pearl has mentioned to me that she likes is that she likes it when I try to, when she's mad to try. Sometimes I do pretty good about it, but try to get her to be not mad anymore. Make up. Yeah, to make up for her being mad. Okay, this, the second question. What was, uh, what is uh, 15 years of marriage meant for you? That's the long suffering. <laughs> <laughs> what does long suffering you meant long suffering. What is it? In what way? Uh, Putting up with each other. Yeah, sucking up, sucking it up during the bad times. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we say to each other, suck it up, deal with it. Shit happens. Shit happens. <laughs> um, you know, we say that in jest. It's it's not really serious when we say that to each other it's it's sort of a way for us to uh, break the ice or a way of letting letting the other person know that you need to lighten up 
Um, but when things, when bad things happen, it, it is applicable. Yes, it is. Um, but with, I'm looking forward to the next 15 years, 20 years. Um, I know that our relationship is stronger than the day that we uh, met, the day that we got married. Um, and I'm looking forward to the future, to becoming closer, uh, having our relationship being more together, uh, especially now with Sam being in our lives and the love and joy that he has brought to it and the patience and long suffering that it's brought to it as well. Um, so, would I do it all over again? Yes, in a heartbeat, I would. By the question, I'll answer the question of 15 years meant for you. 15 years meant for me. It's made me uh, realize a lot more of my faults. It's made me realize that I can't do it alone. And it made me realize that I can be a better father and a better husband. That uh, there's always second chances. There are always second chances, third mm -hmm. chances, mm -hmm. fourth chances. And if you get a chance to, and if you get, if you get an opportunity to be given that, you grab it, hold on to it. Don't let it go. Siggy. <laughs> what has 15 years of marriage meant to you? It, it made me a stronger person, a better, a better person. Um, 15 years made me more mature uh, in general. Especially in in a marriage aspect of life, <laughs> yeah, it really helped my personality uh, become better, habitable, <laughs> habitable, <laughs> livable with, <laughs> endurable, endurable. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we have we have. <laughs> We have bad side and good side on our on our personality. So I try to fight with my own demon inside. So yeah, definitely 15 years of marriage made me uh, more mature and um, become uh, made me become a better individual as a as a wife as a mother now as a person and as a daughter of God. Okay, the other question. What have you learned in 15 years of marriage to this hunk here? Oh, to you. Yeah, to me. To you? To me. Okay. That's what I said. To, yeah. to this, the, the hunk? The hunk. The hunk. I couldn't get over that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, have to, I have to verify it. To you? <laughs> Oh, you're funny. Oh, you're funny. Now you're joking. You're a little jokester now. Anyway, um, what have I learned? I learned in marriage life, you have to be, you have to have unlimited patience. It's like unlimited rice, but, but. Better. Uh, oh. But this, this one is unlimited patience. Um you have to have long suffering like he said because if bad things happen don't go your your way 
and you wanna end up it can all it can it can be your relationship is over your marriage is over so that's one thing it's in common that we have both the same religion that we are we are being taught to have a long suffering in the gospel of Jesus Christ in our church so that's one thing we apply always is um, having a long suffering between putting up with each other's shit every day <laughs> it is it is true we yes. have we all have good times how good how bad bad times good times and sometimes we're not lovable we're not likable so just long suffering we're we're uh, putting up with with each other um, also um, respect and uh, loyalty definitely okay if I don't respect our marriage I would have go around with other men Liba? Siguro. so that means I have respect in our marriage that I value it that but I value it so much that when in bad times, I don't go in other times, right? Mm -mm. So that's what I meant. Love your husband. Um, treat him like he deserves. That's what I learned. Um, sometimes I, uh, I have the possibility of self-centered, but um, I uh, I matter. But he also has needs, so that's what I have to learn also. <laughs> anyway, that's that's all. I think um, I'm looking forward for many more years. As long as we keep the long suffering, the respect and loyalty and patience, we should be good. <laughs> <laughs> Until then. <laughs> See you next time <laughs> here on our Mindanao dream. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> well, <sighs> there you have it. Straight from the horse's, I mean the Filipino's mouth. Until next time, from here in the Philippines, <clears throat> Mindanao. Samal Island. Salama. God bless.